All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and lead as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Adesanya is two years his senior. He will have a 10-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 24 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Israel, the last style bender, Adesan. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 24 wins, one loss. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Mechacala, Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC Walter White champion of the world, is all right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, and fight.
perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick. That's man. a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Shot to the body now blocked. Oh, he catches the leg here, and now he goes for the takedown. It's there. All right, feet on the hips here. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Adesanya. Under three minutes remain in round one. Now potentially working on a submission instead. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Push the arm down, maybe stepping into a crucifix. Wow, you don't see that very often. Oh, he's in trouble here. Wow. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your handstand, up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than the half guard in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free. So you have more freedom to use your... Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Now into his mouth. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound. Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to so guys, fight and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react to them. And they separate. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. Engaging in the clinch here once again. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Adesanya. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Adesanya's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land from anywhere. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Left hand punches the clinch. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish. Oh! Takedown. Oh, 
big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Under one minute remains in round two. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Voicing its appreciation after that round, we had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Here we go, third round of this championship. Oh, big knee! He's in trouble. Oh. He's in trouble. Oh. oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Back to the feet now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And the... Oh, my goodness. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, that'll work. The grounded pound strike is good. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hit escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Just over two minutes now to go. Nice hammer fist. Israel Adesanya gets back up again. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Again, he's looking for that left, it's not there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh! Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your best. What a fight so far. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, ladies and gentlemen, is only getting worse. Likely going to need to get stitched up after the fact, and blood in and around the mouth area could upset his breathing pattern. Not a good reality for him here tonight. 
All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. This is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper You feel pretty good. Oh! Wow. He's done, he's done. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. Both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at 14 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Israel. So he dedicated decades of his life to this very goal, and he is now the UFC champion. No one